hello friends welcome to mathematica tutorial 7 today i received one request to demonstrate how to solve linear equations before i demonstrate how to solve linear equation let me introduce there are three different sets of linear equations so first set is the exact specified equations of the system and second is under specified equations of the system and third one is over specified equations of the system these three different conditions let me define what is exact specified equations of the system so this is the equations where the number of variables are equal to the number of equations that means the degree of freedom of the system is exact specified and over specified equations of the system are that equations where the number of equations are higher than the number of variables that means the degree of freedom of the system is over specified so let me solve the exact specified equations of the system okay for an example i took three different equations okay these are three equations okay to solve these equations in a mathematica there is a command name is solve okay write all those equations in this fashion in this way this is a particular syntax before you use this command let me tell you do not forget to write equal equals to zero this equal equal is more important as a syntax okay write down all the equations in a curly braces and separate by the, and separate by the comma okay separate by the comma and write your variables in another curly braces okay so let me quickly demonstrate how you can solve so for this i will simply comment this i'll comment this and to run any code in mathematica simply press shift and enter you can get here the values of x y z okay so this is the one way to solve another way we will use this this solve command but as a syntax for the ease of uh, demonstration i took another way i will uncomment it okay i'll come uncomment it and i will comment this mm, first method okay here so here i specified all the equations in a one variable that is equation one and second equation in equation two and third equation is equation three and simply write solve square braces and then curly braces solve equation one equal equals to zero equation two equal equals to zero equation three equals equals to zero and similar to the previous case write a comma and separate all these equations by a local comma and this is the global comma which separate your set of equation to the set of variables okay and you will you will get similar result as in case of the previous method you got now to run any code in mathematica simply press shift and enter i'll press your shift and enter and you will see a similar results okay here is the results you have seen the similar results so let me tell you what are the under specified equation and how to solve i will use this method for further demonstration purpose let me move to the under specified equations of this i took only two equations okay and here you can see i wrote here equation one equals to equation two equals equals to zero and here are the three variables so you can see as soon as you run it simply press shift and enter you will see a message equation may not give solution for all solve variables here you can see the value of y depend on x and the value of z depend on x that means if you want to know the exact value of y and z you will have to specify x that is the under specified equations of the system okay in case of the over specified system you can see i have specified four equations and here are three variables so as soon as you run it you will find the mathematica is not able to solve over specified equations of the system so the main aim of this tutorial is to show how to solve linear set of equations so okay guys i would like to stop my demonstration here in next tutorial i'll i demonstrate how to solve partial differential equations of the system okay so i would like to express my big thanks to you all guys for watching this video if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of my video thank you so much for watching